interested in the way in which the copyright regime impacts the work of archives and archivists in the UK and whether that regime is really fit for purpose in terms of enabling archivists to preserve archival collections appropriately and to make them as open and as accessible as possible. Today I'll be talking about the Codebreakers project and the research I've been conducting at the Wellcome Library and the five partner archives that were involved in Codebreakers. And this was a project to digitise archives and books related to the history of genetics. Lots of the material was in copyright, so we had to develop copyright strategies for archives as well as books. I've been speaking today about the practical experiences of clearing copyright on the Codebreakers project for the archives material in there and just trying to give a sense of the time involved and the response of rights holders. I'm going to be talking about particularly orphan work schemes as new legal ways to make sure that archives can do the good work that they are meant to do without copyright getting in the way too much. I'm going to talk about some of the American experience of archivists uh, facing the issue of dealing with copyright issues and how we can't handle things so much through permissions but instead are moving toward a risk management approach where we're sitting down and trying to do a risk assessment in order to meet our mission of making materials available uh, to the public for further research and education. I'm here to talk about data mining and text mining and how those issues relate to archives and copyright. In the United States today decisions about the risk entailed in mass digitization of archival collections are being made within the framework of a legal doctrine, the doctrine of fair use, which isn't recognized in the United Kingdom or in much of the rest of the world, and which, because it is situational, flexible, and fluid, provides an important tool for permitting significant cultural practices of this kind to go forward with a minimum of interference from the copyright clearance culture. We are digitizing our archives in order to make them available to researchers and to anyone freely online. All of the rights holders that they contacted, those that replied, the vast majority said yes and they didn't want any uh, fees in relation to their works being made available online and I think that's a really good result and that more archivists in the UK um, should develop a greater appetite for risk when making collections available online.